Welcome back to another devlog. I spent a lot of time this week researching things I've never done before, so I might not have a lot of clips to show this week. I start this week off by researching different ways to make low poly water. The options I found were either animating planes in Blender, then importing those into Unity, but I figured that would be pretty tricky considering how new I am to Blender, so I went with the other option of a scripted mesh. I changed the colour of the tank glass, as well as the surface water colour, to try and get it to match as accurately as it could. I ended up settling for this. It might change at a later date as I gain more experience, but I think it looks good enough for now. On Tuesday I spent a lot of time researching into different ways of creating low poly ground. The methods I found were procedurally generated meshes or sculpted terrain in Blender. At first I wanted to avoid Blender and work with procedurally generated terrains. I asked around for advice and found tutorials on procedurally generated terrains. I also asked Mickey. He's another indie game dev that makes devlogs for his game Anthem. It looks fantastic so far, so if you haven't watched his videos, go check him out. I'll add a link to his channel in the description. He sent me his terrain code that he uses in his game to play around with. It worked great, but after a lot of thought I decided against procedurally generated terrain for one main reason. I would need to ensure that no matter how we generated, it would be suitable for the tank, so that it looked good at all four angles as well as had plenty room to fit in tank decorations. Otherwise you could get a bad spawn, and you would be at a disadvantage to other players. This is what I initially came up with. I sculpted a plane in Blender, ensuring that the border of it was pretty flat. So if I wanted to raise it up, I could add a cube underneath the mesh of the same colour. There was a lot of tweaks to be made though. I had made it on a square scaled plane, which obviously wasn't suitable for the tank, since the tank is rectangular. I changed the colour and dimensions of the sand, which looked a lot better, and spent most of today bug testing. I found a funny bug where if you enable the follower camera on the snail, it will randomly shoot the snail across the world. Another bug was that the snails would get stuck against the glass of the tank. This was easily fixed. The snails were also falling inside of the sand terrain. This one had me stumped for a while, but it turns out all I needed to do was to enable the continuous collisions on the snails, and that fixed it. You'll probably notice a big change in the lighting and effects today. I spent hours researching how to change both the lighting and project settings for the game's graphics. I think it improves the atmosphere a lot. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. I also enabled shadows for the fish and snails. I think it adds a lot more personality to the tank. I then changed the scrubber object, since before it didn't really make much sense, as it was just two cubes that went through the glass. Now it looks a bit more realistic, like an actual magnetic scrubber. I finished up the week by running more tests, this time on both PC and mobile. The game runs well on both, despite little to no optimization. I spent a day looking up different things to consider, to get the best FPS out of Unity, and learned that apparently animating your UI is a bad decision, or at least without disabling the animated components when it's not in use. Tweening may be something I look up to in the upcoming weeks, as that's a good alternative. As well as running tests today, I changed the pivot point on the Angelfish, to see if this would improve how the animation ran in Unity. It did a lot, but it still looks a little off when rotating. I think it's because the Angelfish only has two core bones, whereas the Clownfish has three. One for the head, one for the core, and one for the tail. So I'll add another bone into the Angelfish and see if that looks better. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to join the Discord to chat or share your own game project. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching.